Hi everyone, how's it going? So excited to be back. Um, I'm practically all moved in once I get my the last box of my scrapbook room um, packed. I will do a craft room tour for you guys. It's a lot bigger than my last scrapbook room. Um, but anyways, I've had this album done for about a month now. I did it right before I packed everything up. But of course, I packed up my camera, I packed up <laughs> my tripod, so I wasn't able to film it. So, um, this was a request from my sister-in-law. She, um, every time she comes over, she, there's a recipe that I make that she loves. So, and I'm not really a big recipe person, but I do have some that I go to. And so, I'll show you the paper pads that I used. Um, the first one is, uh, Recollections Paper Pad. I got this on sale for a hot buy, $5.99 at Michael's. I think it came out not too long ago. <clears throat> And it was the last one left. I had never seen it, not even on their um, their like Instagram or anything like that, uh, unless I missed it. Um, <clears throat> but uh, anyways, beautiful prints in here, very retro vibe. Um, this is the other one that I used. I try and hoard this paper stack because I love it. It's an old DCW uh, V uh, paper pad, Nana's Kitchen paper stack. Again, I'm a cheapie, so <laughs> I got this for six dollars, and I absolutely love this paper pad. I just have a hard time using it because I just love it so much. I mean, it's just beautiful. It reminds me of like you know patterns that my grandma had in her house. Um, just gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. And so, anyways, it's it's really pretty. I, I mix these papers together, and you'll see what I came up with. All right, let's make sure that this is a frame. There we go. All right, so um, the cover is six and a quarter by seven and three quarters. Um, I made it that way because there's some inserts in here that are a little large. Um, and so uh, let's see what you talk about first. So um, these are these are all the cuts in here are from the Cricut cartridge from the kitchen. Um, and actually, these first three I cut on accident too small. Um, but I went ahead and just went with it. I don't like to waste stuff. So I cut out the whisk and the spatula in there. Um, and you'll see a few of those because I feel like, um, the whisk and the spatula are, I don't know, they're very cute in, from that cartridge. Um, there's a lot of cute stuff. But anyways, I added some, um, homemade paper flowers, some bows, um, and I popped out of them with some doilies in the background. I didn't want it to be too thick so that way she can stand it up with other books and she doesn't have to worry about smashing the flowers. It won't hurt them. Um, but the spine is actually a, uh, duct tape spine. Um, I don't know if you can see the line right there, but I thought it was very cute, very fitting. Um, and then here is the back, just the same as the front, no embellishments. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So, for the first page here, um, the inside cover is obviously gray. I didn't want it to overshadow a lot of the uh, other pages. Um, but anyways, I have an index card right here so she can write um, any recipes that she wants, you know, jot them down. Um, and then from the paper collection, there are these little whisks um, that I fussy cut and just glazed and pop dotted up on top. All right. It is closed with the magnet. With a little flap right here. Um, here's a recipe for my cheesecake dip. Um, everybody loves that. And then when you open it up, I got these um, stickers from Michael's about a year ago. Um, and I only got them for 50 cents, so I decided to use them. They do have little pops of red in there, so I decided to put throw some cherries in this album. Um, and then, uh, of course, they can. E she could either do a picture here or a recipe. Um, and then here's a recipe for my energy bites. Um, these are my chocolate ones. Um, and then you close it up. There we go. And then this is a pocket on top. All the inserts are the same, so I won't pull them all out. Uh, but they just have a pink paper here with um, blank in the background. So she could either glue recipes, like from magazines or something, to this or... You know, put pictures in there of her and her family making things. And so, uh, anyways, when we turn this page, uh, I thought this was a really fun and cute idea. I added um, little honey drips from my liquid pearls uh, to this little mason jar that I had. Because um, I didn't like it initially. It was, like, too busy for me. But once I added the drips, I think it was that's what it was missing was just more color. Um, so, anyways, I made a vellum little pocket that's what it looks like without the recipes 
and she absolutely adores my ceviche so I made sure to put that in there and then my family loves pico de gallo so um, I put the pico de gallo recipe in there all right and so here is a little pocket that I made for sweets or sweets recipes um, when you pull this one out it's just a little blank tag that I added a, um, a little um, I don't know I found this in my junk drawer honestly when I was moving <laughs> and I decided to add them on here uh, but they came with like some cups or wine glasses that I had bought uh, but anyways here is a blank index card so she can write a recipe and these are the best chocolate chip cookies in the world you might want to screenshot that you know if you want to be a hit at your parties <laughs> I'm just kidding but every time I make these I usually don't have any left um, so anyways, that's what the pocket looks like without the inserts. Very cute. Um, again, that's from that Cricut cartridge. And I just love the font that they used in that, um, cartridge. And so here is an insert on top. All right. So for this one, again, there's a lot of pockets in here because, um, like if she's anything like me, I like to tear recipes out of magazines or, you know, some people give me recipes with either Christmas presents or anything like that. So I can just... I gave her room to be able to stuff them in here. And so um, I cut out this little pot, added a pearl with the word chef. And so when you pull it out, that's what the page looks like. And then here is a recipe for a light cheesecake. Um, so all the cheesecake, half the calories basically. And then so um, here's a recipe for some tortillas. I don't know if she's ever made any, but this is how I make mine. Um, and they're very good homemade tortillas. All right, so for this little belly band page, I went ahead and um, I'll let you look at that page first. So that's what that looks like. Um, I just kind of put a little collage of stuff together. Here are some blank recipe cards right here. I just paper clipped them, added a little uh, metal tag right here. There we go. And again, another spot to just shove more things in there. <laughs> All right, and here is another little pocket insert. Uh, so there's four pages total in this album, um, but definitely a lot of space for uh, extra recipes. And this little page is just the cutest. Um, I went ahead and actually um, cut out the utensils that I actually wanted the size as. Um, and then um, this is like the tortilla pin. Um, uh, a rolling pin sorry in my family we use it for tortillas so that's what we just call it um and then this is just a little whisk and i free cut this little uh utensil i guess you utensil holder <laughs> i don't know a, a little jar um and then i cut some cherries right there and so this is just either space for more photos or larger um recipes and it's just white pages so uh, it's also blank in the back and then it is magnetic, so um, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but it closes and it stays closed. Um, here's a leftover recipe for some Reese's peanut butter cups. Um, I thought I'd include that in there because um, my brother loves chocolate, and so she can make my brother some chocolate um, goodies. Um, all right, almost to the end. So here again is another page that is kind of like the front where it has a little flap right here. But um, anyways, there's a spot for a photo, a small photo or a small recipe when you open it up. Again, two blank spots right here and um, those stickers right here. Um, and then here is, I need to stop saying um, I'm so sorry. <laughs> here is a recipe for my Bloody Mary. Um, I make it with the pickled asparagus and she just absolutely loves that and um, smoked salt as well. So I added that in there. Again, a, um, a few blank um, index cards so she can write recipes on or jot something down. Uh, if you've never tried cilantro lime dressing, I would recommend it. It is so, so good, especially um, in burritos. If you ever make burritos at home, like my husband likes these uh, Tex-Mex from Freshy. And that uh, we put it in burritos with like, you know, romaine, rice, beans, you know, we, you could put whatever meat you want in there. But anyways, that cilantro lime dressing just packs a punch of flavor and so uh here's a little insert for you again the same as the front for the last page here is this cute little pocket i made I, these are just recipe cards but they're blank so she can write some in there 
Uh, I added these little cherries right here to kind of bring out the red in both the paper and the embellishments I added. Again, here are those whisk in the spatula I added with the little bow right here. And of course, a canvas doily in the back. I love using doilies. It adds such a girly touch to all these little albums that I make. So uh, anyways, the album's not too thick. I believe it's only... Uh, about an inch and a half but the spine is like two inches so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this album and I haven't made a video in a while but I can assure you I will be having a lot coming in um, because um, I gave you a little sneak peek right here of what I'm working on so stay tuned I should have a video up in the next week or two all right bye